gold chains really? Am I surprised? Nah. Let's get into this. A Mexican rapper by the name of Dan Sir has taken attention seeking to a whole new ridiculous level by, get this, getting gold chains surgically hooked and implanted into his head. Dan Sir reportedly had this strange surgery back in April, allowing him to hang the dozens of gold chains from his head. In a recent TikTok video, he told his followers that he's the first human in history to pull off this kind of stunt. He just hopes that no one bites his style, Lamau. In a viral clip, he went on to quote, I have it as a hook that is implanted in my head and that hook has hooks and they are all hooked in my skull under my skin. In another viral clip, he stated, quote, this is my hair, golden hair, the first rapper to have gold hair implanted in human history. The truth is that I wanted to do something different because I see that everyone dyes their hair. I hope not everyone copies me now. Oh, oh my God, ridiculous. Now, according to a plastic surgeon, Dr. Frank Agula, this is a very uncommon procedure procedure that carries immense risk. Their surgeon says, quote, implants in this area are not safe. They, they introduce an easy path for bacteria between the outside world and the internal body. In this case, the bone covering the brain. In addition, I am concerned about the amount of weight those hooks are supporting. The weight or any accidental tug on the band of gold, gold could cause the implant to dislodge and even fracture the skull. My God, my thoughts. Listen, bruh, the level of stupidity that you need in order to anchor gold chains off of your skull with hooks to carry gold chains is something that actually, you know what, doesn't surprise me. For those who've watched my last video about the, the female who spent over $250,000 to look like a doll, that video had me come to a realization of sorts that people will do almost anything to feel unique and special or just to grab attention. In our society, as fast paced as it is, it makes sense. Our, our technology and our media is telling us every day we need to stand out and be super special so i can understand but you know what to to come out and look ridiculous or to put yourself in harm's way is not the way to go about it and you know from a promotional standpoint i kind of understand where he's coming from because he probably wants to gain more attention and publicity to promote his music and if his music isn't good enough alone to promote itself and he doesn't have a big media company backing him to promote his songs then he's probably he is probably going to need some kind of gimmick or outlandish news to gain eyeballs on his music and credit to him it worked but I would never personally recommend anyone to mutilate their body in order to gain attention. Like I said before, it's almost seldom never worth it because he might have garnered the attention he wanted, but he's a quick story and about tomorrow morning, people aren't gonna remember him. People are most likely going to laugh and ridicule him and make videos like these. And then next morning, move on to the next story. And also from a, a, a health perspective, what if somebody tries to rip off his gold dreads? Just like Uzi, Lil Uzi Vert put himself in danger by putting implanting a diamond on his forehead that if ripped off properly could basically kill him this guy is um basically kind of doing something similar because if somebody yanks on his gold chains he could possibly fracture fracture his skull and expose him himself to a dangerous bacteria or, or virus of some sort guys remember that it takes more uh courage to build an audience through commitment dedication and perseverance than to gain attention via cheap tricks and gimmicks guys don't do something stupid like this peace